What is carbohydrate and how is it so important? Hey guys, welcome to Phil Lifestyle. This is me, Van Stoven, and today we are going to cover the topic carbohydrates and its important. So, let's get started. Carbohydrates are sugar that break down inside your body to create glucose. It is an energy providing macronutrient. In fact, carbohydrates in the form of glucose is your body's first choice of energy production. They are known as carbohydrates because at a chemical level they contain carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. Carbohydrates has its four types, monosaccharides, disaccharides, oligosaccharides and polysaccharides. Let's get into the daily recommendation of carbohydrates. The daily amount of carbohydrates one should consume for adults is about 135 grams per day, according to National Institute of Health. However, they also suggest that one should have his or her own carbohydrate goal. And for most of the people, the carbohydrate should lie between 45 to 65 percent of the total calories. One carbohydrate has about four calories. So uh, let's assume a diet of 1800 calories. The carbohydrates in it will lie between um, 202 to 292 grams per day. While a person with diabetes should not exceed more than 200 grams of carbohydrates. And a pregnant woman needs at least 170 grams of carbohydrates per day. Now let's get into a question. Are all carbs credit equal? A rising concern in today's world is the overconsumption of uh, bad carbs from processed foods such as fast food. Are these carbs really bad? Not actually. These are the carbs in its simplest form known as monosaccharides and disaccharides which have the same sugar which um, yeah which have the same sugar that are found in fruits and dairy. In fact, glucose is also monosaccharide and we all know how important glucose is to our body. The problem with processed food is that they contain a lot of these monosaccharides in a single serving and as these carbs are in its simplest form, it becomes very 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 easy to digest and it can push your calorie intake up and this will let your weight gain carbs called good carbs are considered good because they contain dietary fiber which makes you feel fuller while consuming fewer calories or they contain complex carbohydrates such as um, polysaccharide which takes a long time to digest you probably get the point if if bad carbs are taken in moderation it isn't going to harm you much moderation is the key to unlock your food desires carbs are eventually metabolized into simple sugar glucose with the exception of dietary fiber since your body is not able to break it down. Excess glucose in the body is stored in the form of glycogen which is simply glucose molecules chained up together into branches. Unfortunately there is a limit that how much glycogen can be stored which is about 500 to 1200 grams so all the rest are glycogen converts into fat so this is something you need to highlight let's get some bit more dip let's talk about its importance why should we take carbohydrates it provides fuel for central nervous system it is also very important for our working muscles again important for brain functioning plays an important part in blood sugar glucose last one important for breakdown of fatty acids and a lot more but what will happen if carbohydrate deficiency take place? Or what will happen if we just eliminated carbs from our diet? So to know it, go and hit that subscribe button below because this will be a part of our upcoming video. So that was it for today. I hope you found this video quite knowledgeable. Well, if you did, make sure to leave that thumbs up below. And suggestions are always welcome. Comment down something you would like to see in our upcoming videos. So till then, stay healthy, stay fit and stay tuned.